The prisoner release began late on the final day of the NATO deadline. Bosnian Serb men freed from this government jail near Sarajevo, while a few miles away, Muslim and Croatian prisoners were being released by their Serbian captors. Despite the brinkmanship, all sides appear to be complying with the Dayton Agreement. Throughout the day, aerial surveillance has confirmed that the former warring factions have indeed pulled back from their frontline trenches and bunkers ahead of the deadline. Many of you will have followed, followed our progress. Um, I think it's, it's gone better than really anybody uh, had dared hope. The general's satisfaction shared by his soldiers. You know, people are no longer dying. I mean, that's, a, that's an achievement straight away, isn't it? A few heavy weapons like this Croatian tank have been seen moving away from the zone of separation, where they've now been replaced by more of NATO's big guns. British AS-90 artillery to encourage further cooperation from Bosnia's armies. In northern Bosnia, the abandoned front lines are now being patrolled by British soldiers. These fusiliers have discovered the remains of several victims of the bloodletting and are generally unimpressed by the abandoned positions. I think they would have been actually glad to get out of these themselves and get back to their own homes. If the multinational force is to achieve its final objectives, it must now persuade hundreds of thousands of refugees that it's safe to return to their old homes and allow teams of international investigators access to the sites of alleged war crimes. But stopping the fighting, separating the armies, and obtaining the release of prisoners is considered a fair achievement for 30 days' work. Paul Davis News at 10, 